Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about something called Speedy Sleeves. Okay, so I did a video a few years ago in regards to beetle oil leaks. Uh, most everybody knows today, beetles do mark their spot. Uh, you know, the older these motors get, um, it's not uncommon to see a little drop of oil or two on the floor. Now, one of the areas that I pointed out in that video that I want to point out again today is the, uh, the back nut area, the rear main seal area. As you can see here, uh, we're rebuilding this motor here that's on this stand. And as you can see here, we have not installed the rear main seal yet. This is your rear main seal, brand new one. And uh, what you do is, this is where the, the end of the crank is. You have usually three shims that are around the crank. Make sure you check your end play on that. Uh, you get a, a gasket that goes around the dowels here. And then you put your rear main seal on, okay? This rear main seal, they sell a tool that you can buy that makes this go in flush or you can just kind of get it started and use a rubber mallet and go all the way around and bang it in. It should be flush with the surface. Okay, so a lot of times though, even when you have your motor in the car, oil will drip past the seal, okay, all the way down, and you'll see it underneath the car that there's drips of oil over here on this so-called back nut area. People call it the back nut area, you can call it the front nut. This is actually the nut that's closest to the front of the car, so usually it should be called the front nut, but uh, most people call it the back nut under the, under the motor. Um, so a lot of times you'll see it o leaking oil here. And then when you're driving the car, of course, the oil splashes in different areas underneath the motor or, or even gets pushed further on the, uh, the tunnel of the car. So it looks like there's oil everywhere, but for the most part, it's just coming from there. Anyways, but back to this rear main seal. Many people will take the motor out of the car and change the rear main seal and then think and thinking that they're oil drips will go away. Problem we have is, is that depending on how old this seal is and depending of course how old your motor is and whatnot and how long it's been run and if it's still using the original flywheel, chances are your flywheel has damage to it due to the rear main seal and for years of running and driving and, and cutting a groove into the neck. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here we have two flywheels. Now this is a 36 horsepower motor. They do not make these flywheels anymore, brand new. So you can't really get these brand new. Yes, you can send them out to get machined at a machine shop, um, but for the most part, you cannot get these new later style motors, 1600s, 1500s, things like that, 12 volt motors. You can get brand new flywheels uh, for these cars. Uh, but the early ones, you are forced to either send the flywheel out to get machined, or another alternative that I've come across recently uh, from a Porsche friend of mine. He sent me his Porsche book, the Stoddard Porsche book. A lot of you Porsche guys out there will know this book, um, early 356 Porsche stuff. I was just thumbing through, just seeing how the parts are you know, similar to the Beetle. And uh, I came across on page two of the book, something called a speedy sleeve. Okay, and then what this does, it's like a little hat, like a little sleeve that goes over the neck of the flywheel. And as I was saying to you before, as time was going on, and the motor's running, the rear main seal will cut a groove into this neck of the flywheel here. So no matter how many times you put a brand new seal in the block, the fact that there's still a groove there on this neck of the flywheel, it's not gonna matter. The oil will still seep past and you will get a drip. So if you have a groove that's, you know, dug in enough where you can catch your fingernail, usually means you're gonna need to machine the flywheel or if you have an older bug, get a new flywheel. Or like I said, here's the alternative. Something called a speedy sleeve. Okay, so you're gonna get a sleeve like this that comes in this box. They give you like a little, little cap here to put over the sleeve. It's like kind of like this. And you hammer it down. Okay, and we did that to this flywheel. As you can see, it was sent out, cleaned up. We put the little hat, the little sleeve, around the neck. This one doesn't have the sleeve, and this one does, as you can see the ridge. It's a very thin sleeve, thin enough to just basically fill that, that groove that was cut into the neck, okay? And it's tight enough to the point where it's not going to slide off, okay? And then what we do recommend is, of course, you know, maybe get some a sealer to go on the neck here, uh, like a Loctite or something. 
Um, you can put it on the inside of the sleeve before you hammer it down. Okay, now, and it just hammers down like this. I called Stoddard up to see if they have the sleeve for Volkswagens, and they really didn't know the measurements for the Volkswagen. I did a little homework online for, through the Samba forums, and I did find out that uh, the sleeves uh, for the early 356 Porsches are the same uh, for the, uh, the early Beetles, so you should be okay using the sleeve from the Stoddard book. Okay, uh, prices for these things vary. I mean, Stoddard is about $50, $51, I believe, to use these sleeves or you can kind of find them online. Uh, I did find one online when I was going through the Samba forums. Uh, guys were telling me that this one, 99235 by National. Um, I guess if you just do a Google search for that, you'll get this sleeve. But what we did find though, when we got this sleeve in, uh, the sleeve was a little bit higher than the neck of the flywheel. You need to have that flush. Because remember, this rides up against the, the shims that are inside uh, uh, around the, the edge of the crank. So you don't want this rubbing against the shims. It's gotta be flush. So we sent this out to get, you know, cut straight off. You could do that. You can go to take this to a machine shop. They'll hammer the sleeve down for you and they'll cut it flush and you'll be able to have a brand new looking fresh neck, 36 horsepower uh, flywheel. And that should help with your notorious oil leak that you get in the rear. So, uh, basically, that's that tip for today, guys. I know it was long-winded and I was a little wordy, but just wanted to point this out to a lot of guys out there that are running, constantly changing their rear main seals, thinking that's going to, you know, rectify their oil leak. Um, and uh, it does not, uh, because if you still have that groove on the neck there, um, it's, it's not going to stop the oil leak. So, basically, then you can test. See, now it's nice and tight. You put the rear main seal on. So, basically, see, as you see over time, that ridge here cuts the groove into the neck with an old seal. That's amazing that it is. I mean, this is hardened steel, but you know what? Um, it'll do it. So that's what you want. You want to be able to get that neck nice and smooth, and that should stop your oil leaks. Any questions? Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care.